Hi, this is Sue Merrick, and I'm speaking with Mark Hurley, Solution Architect with Schneider Electric. Hi, Mark. Thanks for joining us today. Thank you, Sue. It's good to be here. So, Mark, tell us, how has the growth in edge computing changed the way IT managers think about data center environments? So, you know, I, I've said this on many occasions, you know, edge data centers is not a new phenomenon. We've had edge data centers in many different industries. I came from a, a financial uh, institution and we had branch banks that had local edge data centers. Uh, you know, retailers have local uh, point of sale edge data centers. So it, it's not new, but what's changing is, is, there is uh, increasing demand for compute at the edge. And, and we've been talking about this story for several years. It's all due to the, the growth in IoT and uh, the amount of data and information that needs to be processed. And it, we need low latency applications. And that's driving uh, a demand for increased compute at the edge. We can't be pushing terabytes of data 3,000 miles away to a cloud data center and expect it to do some data analytics or crunch it and, and come back with the response. So that, that's what's driving it. And where I see um, you know, the emerging edge opportunities is really in the telco and transportation uh, area. So a lot more outdoor edge applications, and those have been around too uh, for a long time. But what I'm seeing is, is a growth and in increase of uh, compute capacity and KW demand. So uh, the processing power and the, and the and the KW demand at the edge is growing, which is creating challenges for um, air conditioning those environments. Uh, they want them in really compact form factors uh, at the edge. So, you know, edge computing is becoming more critical. The network connectivity is also becoming more critical because without network connectivity, you lose visibility into your edge compute. And, and uh, so that's becoming extremely critical and the ro uh, robustness of the network as far as bandwidth uh, capacity is increasing. So now why why should enterprises consider a data center infrastructure management or DCIM kind of product? Well, when you think about it, uh, a lot of these edge locations are, if they're outdoors, they can be in remote unmanned locations. If they're, um, you know, on-premise, you know, local edge, um, say in a branch bank, typically you don't have the IT staff or, or the facility staff in those, in those buildings. So you need visibility into the critical infrastructure, whether it's UPS, air conditioning, the IT equipment. And the IT world has really embraced connecting to their devices remotely and remotely managing it. You need the same thing for the OT, um, the operational technology, uh, UPS and cooling. Yeah, now you mentioned air conditioning and, and cooling. And um, so how does DCIM software help companies achieve sustainability? Because that would be a big issue, I would think. <laughs> Yeah, so sustainability uh, is interesting, and I, and I like to kind of set the tone. You know, when we when we talk about sustainability, that's it's different than efficiency. We've been focused on efficiency for years, and you know, PUE with all its, its flaws, you know, has helped drive down and or improve the efficiency of data centers. But sustainability is about. Um, uh, you know, balancing your consumption against the available resources that the earth has to offer. You know, we've lowered um, uh, or improved the efficiency of data centers, but the KW demand, the power requirements for data centers is still growing and it's going to continue to grow. And that's not sustainable in the long term. Right. So a DSIM solution gives you visibility into the data you need to understand what your power consumption in. And that's just one aspect of your sustainability journey. From a sustainability perspective, you got to baseline your power consumption, you have to set goals, and you have to try to, you know, uh, reduce your power consumption or 
uh, switch to um, renewable energies, energies that are more sustainable to achieve your, you know, whatever carbon goals, you know, carbon neutral. Uh, lots of corporations today are focused on sustainability goals because sustainability is good for business. Mm -hmm. Now, how does um, Schneider's Electric, Schneider Electric's DCIM solution, how is it different from some of the others on the market? There, there are lots of different solutions on the market, but I think, you know, one of the things Schneider's been in the DSIM uh, arena for a long time and a couple things differentiated, I think. One, we have uh, software modules so you can deploy the software solution that you need, whether it's, you know, just monitoring equipment, whether it is doing capacity management and, and simulating failovers, whether it's asset management. And I've had companies that have deployed pieces and parts of the software solution to meet what their current needs and goals and objectives are. The other uh, uh, big thing I think is, is we are moving to cloud-based uh, software solution, and that does a lot of things. One, it provides infinite scalability. And when you think about, you know, I worked at a financial institution that had 5,000 branch banks. That's 5,000 locations you have to manage, and it, and it could grow. I'm working with a uh, company that is looking to deploy smart uh, roadway pavements, and they're looking to, to deploy tens of thousands of roadside compute cabinets uh, that'll manage these smart roadway systems. So when, when you have all of those distributed systems out there, DSIM solution will allow you to uh, collect that. Um, and then the other thing the cloud solution uh, affords you is it, it can collect data, not only on your equipment, but everybody else's equipment. And you get a mass concentration of data that allows you to do advanced uh, uh, big data analytics and, and come up with uh, business intelligence that will uh, allow you to understand what your risk profile is, when things may be failing before they fail. We want to become predictive in, in nature and predict when things are going to fail, not wait for them to fail and react. So can you give me an example of a customer that is maybe using Schneider's DSIM software and, and how they've benefited from it? Yeah, um, I, you know, uh, I'll, I'll go back to this roadways company. Um, they're looking to deploy smart roadway pavements, and they needed a, a solution for monitoring these roadside control cabinets remotely because they're in remote unmanned locations, and they're going to have 10,000 of these across the country, and they need to be able to collect data because one of the, the challenges with edge compute um, is – it's, it's costly to deploy edge compute. It's a lot more efficient to deploy large cloud-based, you know, centralized data centers where you have on-site, uh, you know, smart hands and, and, and management. Um, but in these remote sites, we need to rethink how we're going to manage edge data centers. And DSIM gives you visibility from from monitoring equipment, alarming equipment, some remote control, uh, uh, limited remote control. DSIM is not a BMS system. You know, it's more focused on monitoring, but there are some limited control you can do with smart rack PDUs where you can switch outlets on and off, um, uh, send signals to unlocking, provide access control to vendors that you're dispatching there. So, uh, the, the, the benefits are that remote visibility, that remote control for our Great. users. Great. Well, thank you, Mark. It's been a pleasure speaking with you today. Thanks for joining us. Thank you, Sue. Appreciate it.